Thank you for watching, liking, commenting, sharing, and subscribing right now. Oh, iPhone. I'll miss you. But as of today, I'm just not going to use you as my primary communications device. I know we've, we've been through some really good times. Seen a lot of good emails, sent a few really good SMSs, but iPhone, you're... You're just not for me anymore. It's, it's just, no, there's nothing wrong with you. It's, we've grown apart, you know? I mean, no, it's not you. It's me, really. It's, it's me. But today, it, it's, I'm just, I have to break up with you. I, I've got to, I've got to move on to a different phone. Please don't, don't, just, just don't. It, it, it hurts already. true. I'm not going to be using my iPhone. Wicket, do you want it? Did you hear him walking over and jingling over there? You want it? I'm not using my iPhone. I'm sorry. Hello, buddy. Instead, I'm going to be using my iPhone 3G. Oh, come on. Don't tell me it was that much of a surprise. You knew that I was getting the iPhone 3G. Even Wicket knew I was getting the iPhone 3G. And I gotta tell you, um, I'm happy with the upgrade. It's not a dramatic upgrade because it's the same operating system as I've been using on the, the iPhone. Because remember, there's the iPhone and iPhone 3G. Two different products there, okay? iPhone 3G is what I'm using now. Of course, it still is, quote unquote, the iPhone, but don't get mad at me. I'm not the one who came up with the name. iPhone 3G is it. Some initial impressions have been good. Uh, I would say that, wow, he's really having fun with it. He's looking for dog food apps in the app store right now. I don't think they're there yet. They're working on it, don't worry. Um, you know, for the most part, uh, it's, it's been a good experience, but a as I uh, have stated here in the chat room at live.perilla.com throughout the day, uh, instabilities abound, and many of which have already been noted on many iPhone and Apple-related websites, uh, discussion forums on apple.com. The uh, hope of the community is that Apple will be releasing a firmware update at some point in the very near future uh, to... Yeah, I guess clean up a few of these bigger hiccups that people have been running into, including uh, a lot of app instabilities, which is almost par for the course. I mean, you throw a handful of new things at a device that hasn't really been field tested, and, and you're going to run into certain headaches. Apple has responded admirably in the past. Think about it. Just think about last year it, with the iPhone, the first iPhone. Uh, Apple released it, then they released another, uh, a patch, then another patch, then another patch. There was a, a series of at least three or four solid patches over the course of a year. And certainly when Apple sells, what is it, one million or some odd devices within a week? That, that's how many uh, iPhone 3Gs have sold. Can you believe that? In a week's time, they've sold that many. Think about that. That is tremendous. When I went in today to pick this up, uh, since AT&T had me on a list to order it, and you can read that whole debacle in my blog at chris.perillo.com. Um, someone's trying to call me right now. It's funny, that's, that's my current ringtone. It's not rude. The people want to get a hold of me. It's kind of exciting, actually. I get a chance to use my iPhone, although I don't really feel like using it right now. Uh, the, uh, uh, the interesting point about uh, the iPhone 3G is that, you know, Apple has sold so many of them. And when I went in today to pick this up, as I was saying before, I was kind of, I guess, kind of rudely interrupted by the Godfather. The Godfather was calling me. He's just going to have to wait. Uh, sorry about that. Send me an email, chris at perillo.com. There were three or four other people picking up their iPhones because they were also on the list. Uh, one was uh, a mother, probably in her mid-40s, and I know she was a mother because she had kids in tow and she was kind of excited about it. And then uh, a younger girl um, was, was also picking up her iPhone. And, you know, of course, I was there to pick up mine. This device appeals to so many people. Uh, and I think as the apps continue to develop 
and people see other people playing with those apps, they'll be more compelled to go out and get their own. When I've demonstrated a, a few apps on the iPhone, just here with the live video feed at live.perillo.com, a few of you have said, wow, I've got to get one. I was demonstrating VNC on the iPhone. People were freaking out. Uh, I was demonstrating uh, Motion X Poker. People were freaking out. Uh, you show them anything, and it's a completely different scenario than just showing them a screenshot. You really can't experience this in a screenshot. Uh, you you kind of have to play with it uh, for yourself. And if you don't have any friends who have an iPhone, uh, get new friends. No, I'm just kidding. Uh, but I, I would be surprised if you didn't have an iPod Touch or an iPhone or didn't want either one. I mean, if only... Uh, for the experience of being able to download, well, certainly dozens of, I think, very decent free apps that can help you through a variety of situations when you're on the go, and of course a few paid apps as well. Uh, the shape of the iPhone, of course, is different than the shape of the iPhone 3G, not dramatically. Uh, the weight doesn't feel any different to me. Some people say that the speakers are better. I can't hear the difference. Some people say they're louder. I can't hear the difference. Of course, I am able to use my regular old headphones with the headphone jack. I'm happy about that because now it's it's flush um, and, and will uh, accommodate the, the headphones uh, in a, I guess, a cleaner capacity than before instead of having to use an adapter. I also have a new in-case. Uh, you might remember I had the in-case. It's I guess it's a rubber casing protector. I had that on my original iPhone pretty much from the beginning. In-case has made a lot of changes uh, I can see this one's a lot more sturdy, even though it's equally as flexible. Uh, it certainly uh, has been engineered a little uh, better than the original in-case. I have the in-case. I also have an anti-glare uh, protector on the front, so I am fully, pretty much fully protected uh, and uh, you know, can fit in the uh, adapter to charge it or sync it right here. So, of course, um, one of the things that people have made mention of uh, is that the colors on the screen of the iPhone 3G are warmer, a little more red than the, the colors on the iPhone, the original iPhone. And I can tell you, sitting side by side, they are correct. Absolutely correct. Uh, the tones on the iPhone 3G screen are much more, well, red, uh, warmer. And my hope is, since I know that's a software tweak, uh, my hope is, is that Apple turns on a configuration option, which they should be able to do. A configuration option that lets users toggle between warmer or cooler, neutral or whatever, uh, somewhere in the settings panel. They should be able to do that. I don't see why they shouldn't be able to do that. Um, it makes sense to me. Apple could do a lot of things that way. Uh, whether they will or not is well, it's pretty much completely up to them. It doesn't take away from the experience, though. I mean, if you're staring at it, you wouldn't think, oh, it's warmer. It's when you put it side by side with an iPhone, that is, an iPhone before the 3G, uh, then you'd be able to detect the differences. But uh, just looking at it regularly, you wouldn't be able to tell. Another thing I noticed, too, and it was prevalent when I was in the settings, on the iPhone 3G, when I scrolled up and down in the list of ringtones, uh, the lines that separated the ringtones stayed solid. When I was scrolling on my iPhone, the regular iPhone, scrolling down the same list, those lines would kind of flash as they'd move up and down. So uh, I don't know. I, I'd imagine they've changed the screen uh, to m make that, uh, I guess, better because it's a, a cleaner experience as I'm scrolling on the, uh, the iPhone 3G. Same is true when I'm dragging around a web page um, so they've definitely made some smaller improvements, incremental improvements to the iPhone 3G. If you're considering it, I would say go for it. Uh, you know, if you don't have an iPhone, yes. If you do have an iPhone, you may just wait. It's not that compelling an upgrade at this point. Uh, you know, the GPS works, all these things work, but the reason why I got it, uh, well, because I'm a geek. Why else did you think I got it? There's apparently a million others out there. I think a lot more people are going to be getting iPhones over the coming days, weeks, months, years. The iPhone is certainly here to stay, and the iPhone 3G is now my device. I don't know what I'm going to do with that. Oh, Wicket really has it. I don't know what I'm going to do with Wicket's iPhone. Uh, I may let him play with it for a while. 
I may end up selling it on eBay. I don't know, maybe someone wants to make an offer um, on my iPhone, regular iPhone, the 8 gig model. I mean, it's in good condition. Uh, the uh, uh, I may decide to jailbreak it when uh, they release a tool uh, because it's my hardware and I've purchased a service plan on AT&T for this one, but that iPhone is still, it's, it works just without um, AT&T's service. But I thought about jailbreaking it since I haven't jailbroken before, so I get a chance to play around with uh, those apps. We'll see how all that goes uh, in, uh, I guess, the coming weeks as those tools are released. So, uh, yeah, I, I say, yeah, I'm happy. Can't wait to see some firmware updates. Can't wait to see uh, new apps as they're released in the App Store. I've got to thank a few people. Uh, I've got to thank the guys from ping.fm uh, for helping me with the style sheet at iphone.lockernome.com. Uh, and I've also got to thank uh, Fireworks. I think that's his handle in the chat room. He, uh, he volunteered to admin on iPhone.LockerGnome.com and edit things and add icons. Uh, and iPhone.LockerGnome.com is just a small little experiment as opposed to a big little experiment uh, where you know we're letting you vote on your favorite iPhone apps or iPhone news. Uh, we'll see where it goes. Um, someone submitted it to Dig and it had like 800 digs overnight. I'm like, okay. And uh, so anyway, check that out if you're interested. Send some feedback or just join the site and vote for things, give us your take. I'd really like to see more video reviews of the apps. I, I'm really, I, I'm kind of big on that. I've got to see a video or see something in person in order to get a good feel for it. I just can't go off of screenshots or just plain old text reviews. I've got to see and feel, or at least get as close to that experience as I possibly can before I decide to spend money on something. For free, I'll try anything, uh, including, uh, let's see here, I've got bubbles right now, so I can, I can pop different bubbles in, on the... See, I can pop bubbles, or if I want to, I can also uh, go in. This is a, this is an app they just released. Maybe. Like I said, there have been some. It's a cowbell. You're supposed to tap the cowbell, and it actually goes. Doop, 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 doop. It really does. But you're supposed to play it with "Fear the Reaper." Or Don't fear the Reaper uh, by Blue Oyster Cult, and it's. It's, oh, it's because it's on mute again. I'm a genius when it comes to this stuff, really. I, my email address, as I said before in the video, is chris at perillo.com. Of course, you're also welcome to stop by the chat room. Uh, we're typically talking tech. You never really know what we're talking about. We may be talking about your mobile device, whether it's the iPhone or not. We talk about just about anything related to tech, software, hardware, internet. doesn't really matter. We're just geeks. So you're welcome to join us uh, in the... Uh, you know, watch this whole Chris Perillo experience by video because uh, I'm streaming my life out 24 hours a day, seven days a week at live.perillo.com. We'll see you later.